Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over uh, day 17 of the Lico Dairy Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let's go over today's problem together Robot Bound in Circle. So, an infinite plane, it goes, it faces north, it can go up, uh, it can go left, right. Uh, so, we turn true if there's a circle. Um, when repeating this, this will go a circle of two centered in the origin. Okay. So, I mean, this is just essentially psycho detection. Maybe. Um, oh, because it repeats infinitely, right? Is that the uh, thing? Okay. Because this one goes infinite. So, let's think about this, right? Um, if it doesn't go back to... Um, So I think th uh, there are some observations to make here, and that's what I was thinking about. And, and sometimes for these questions, um, you know, you, you have a true or false, right? And you have to think to yourself, and that's what I was doing, whether it is easier to find whether it's true or whether it's false. And what I mean by that is, is that maybe you could write your code. is like, okay, if some condition, return true. Otherwise, or return false. Or it may be the other way around, right? Where it may return false uh, and then return true. So I was just thinking about which one is easier to f figure out, uh, slash proof maybe, uh, mathematically if possible. And I'm just thinking about, okay, so this is going to go straight and it's going to go indefinitely, but you know, it's going to be really hard to find um, something that goes, no, it's hard to prove that something will go infinitely um, just by looking at things. Uh, so that's why I'm going to try to see if there's a loop in which we can do this instead, right? And and I think the way that I would think about it is if you are able to... If you're able to go back to a state that you've seen before, then you're in an infinite loop. I think that part uh, makes sense because that means that if you're... At a certain point, you do a certain amount of operations, and then you end up at the same point. Um, then that means that you're gonna infinite. You know, you're gonna keep on going because this is uh, everything is deterministic, right? And I think one thing that I would try to think about is that in this case, the states are a little bit different than than. The states are a little bit different than um, than what kind of grid problems that I've been faced with, and this is just from experience. Where you know maybe a naive way of thinking about it is okay for for each instruction you you do that instruction, and then you just um, and then if you see something that you've seen before, then it already has a loop, right? But the problem is that this is not necessarily true um, because. Because you can imagine a situation where, where okay, let's say you start at you know this star place, you go right one, you go down one, uh, you go down one, um, you go left one, and then you go back up, right? But then now you, you want to go keep on going up, or maybe even you know you could turn right. So maybe your instruction could be, um, let's say, uh, let's just go straight up. Or is it D? I forget which one is. Oh, G. Uh, let's go straight. You go straight. Um, basically, what I want to do is just make a loop a loop, right? So then th the entire offset of your operations will be you move north one. But you are going to see some quote unquote states that you've seen before while going through that operation, right? And so if you do something like, okay, you go up north one, you turn left, you go up, uh, you go. Uh, so you go do, do, do. You go left, you go, you go left, you go. So now you're back at the same place, I think. No, one more. Um, so then now what happens is that, you know, you go, you go up one, you go left, you turn left, you go up, you turn left, you go up, you turn left, you go up, uh, and then you turn left, and then you go, right? Um, so in this case, what happens is that uh, if you just look at these uh, operations, that's going to give you a loop. But because of the extra G, this is not a loop because 
for every iteration of you processing the entire set of operations, you're going to have a delta of plus one on the um, on the no going north, I suppose, right? So, so you have to be careful there. I think that's the thing that I would uh, think about. And actually, maybe instead of these ASCII arts, let me pull up, uh, let me pull up paintbrush real quick. Huh, uh, bear with me. I am doing this live, so uh, some there is going to be some. Uh, you know, inefficiencies, and I apologize for that, but hopefully, you know, this is going to be helpful. But basically, my, my point is that, okay, so let's say you start at at this cell, right? Uh, so you go north up, and also, if you have a recommendation for an app, let me know, because I think, okay, that went away. But, so, okay, so the thing is that, you know, let's say you have four operations, or f I guess nine operations, which is what we did, right? Um, Let's change the color a little bit. Uh, so let's say you go no north one, you turn around, you go, you turn around again, you go up or you move forward and then you turn around again, right? And then now it's your last move, you go up one, right? But what that means is that for one iteration of this loop is it's going to do this thing. And then now for the second iteration, um, now you're here, on, on this circle, oops, the, uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, you, so you're going to be here, and then for the next iteration, um, you're going to be in this, starting from the red circle, and then you're going to make this, I don't know, purple uh, thing where, you know, you're here, and then you're going to go up, left, down, right, and then up one right so in that way you can see that this is an actual infinite loop even though if you were just looking at uh eight steps away uh where you're at here and you're facing north that could be a state that you've seen before um so anyway so that's kind of the logic as to why um we have to be careful uh and of course there's going to be a resolution for this and the resolution is just figuring out the delta from each um I think of the delta for each uh, thing that you're doing, right? And I think that that's, so that's the first observation is that um, you have to care about the states, right? So let, let's go back and let's just return true as it, wait, is it? Oh no, it's bounded. So let's return false and, um, wait, what? Okay, let, let's, let's keep that on for a second. So basically what we're going to do is simulate um, and and the thing is that we, um, okay, so there's a very basic case where if, you know, if, if at the end of the simulation of the instructions, we're at zero, zero, then no matter which direction you go, it's going to be an infinite loop because it's always going to go zero, zero. So that's obvious. Um, I think the one case that we, um, and you might have to think about, well, how many times do you want to simulate before you hit, um, you hit a previously seen state and you know you can go a lot of um you know without proofs you may want worry about like the whole thing problem was a simulation of it or something like that right but in this case it uh for my intuition and just experience a little bit with practicing with these problems is that uh and it's similar to what we just did before right uh with the gl GL, 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 GL. Uh, and what that means is that if you separate these things out, right, then if you have just this one operation, it's going to be true, even though by itself it's not going to give you a cycle because all this does is just go up and then look at left, right? So, and if you kind of just practice this for a second, or like if you want to test this, uh, cheese this, uh, if you do LG, or GL, I guess. I, I, they should both be the same. Uh, so this should return true for being a psycho. Um, but but if you just simulate one step, it's gonna you're gonna return false, right? Because you you have a delta. You're one step away from where you are from the beginning. Um, but from this observation, you can note that if after four iterations you um, you're back at where you began or at a state that you've seen before, then it is gonna be a psycho because at most. Um, so there are only two possibilities of, uh, or I guess three possibilities of a scene state, which is, okay, 
you after after one um one simulation of the instructions, you go back at the same place. The another one is okay. After two simulations of the instructions, you go back in the same place. Basically, you turn up, you go up, you turn 180 degrees, you go back down, and you turn 180 degrees. Right. So those are the two cases. And then the third one is this thing where okay, you go up or some direction. You could swap. It doesn't matter. Right. You go up. Uh, you turn one direction, you go same direction, same direction, same direction. So th th if you simulate that, then that's going to be the case. Um, cool. So those are the four, ca uh, the three cases that I have. And then if, if any of those uh, we let us hit a state that we've seen before, then um, then it's that means that there is a cycle. And if not, then it's that means there are no cycles. So okay, and you go on infinity. So okay. That, that was a lot of talking. Hope that was okay. Uh, I tried to explain it a little bit more in depth, but uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions why you do it. But now we're going to just start with uh, x, uh, y is equal to z for instruction in instructions. And we actually want to do, uh, again, we just want to do a full iteration of this. Though you can actually do further proofs if you really want to break down the cases. But the way that I'm doing it now, it will just, in my head, it's just symbolist. Uh, in terms of coding and in terms of uh, not making silly mistakes on the errors. Um, okay, so just GLR. So oh, so we actually need uh, the directions as well. Um, so so if you turn left. You what does turning left mean? So one zero means you go up. Turn left means now it is negative one. Oh, zero negative one okay uh, and actually technically speaking though uh, because this problem is perfectly symmetric it actually doesn't matter um, as long as you have them in a relative like going left and the right it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent about it so that should be okay so yeah and then now uh, current direction equals zero uh, that's the index okay and then now we do a switch statement except for not really I almost won't switch though. Um, so L, uh, so L. Then we just do direction plus one, uh, or is equal to this uh, mod four in this case. Else, if instruction is equal to the right, then you do the opposite uh, of. I know that in, in Python you can actually do negative uh, negative one mod four um, but in other languages you might have to make sure that it is uh, it stays positive uh, just like you should with your life but otherwise uh, x plus you go to directions of direction sub zero and y is you go well maybe maybe a better way of writing is dx dy is you go to directions of direction and yeah right and then at the end of all these instructions, we look at it, right? Um, oh, and we should set scene. Um, so we want to insert the first one that we've seen because that's where we start. We insert uh, X, Y, and direction. And direction matters a bit, but um, maybe not so much. But um, yeah. And then now if xy direction is in scene we return true then it's an infinite loop otherwise we just add it again uh okay so i think that's pretty much enough for me to get you know testing so let's copy and paste the instructions a little bit oh and that's actually in the thingy so that's good that they actually give it to you i actually didn't see that as part or i wasn't paying attention to it but uh but i was just thinking for the problem which is also a good practice in that case uh the only this is only 100, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, ooh. Oh, did I? Oops. Cool. So that looks good. Uh, can we do a no instruction just in case? Uh, let's just go. Uh, I don't really have no that much more cases. Uh, let's do the go go ll case, the, uh, the two case. Like the one that takes two to go back. Oh, whoops. Okay. So that's good, I guess. That they have validation. It's not always a given, so I, that's why I always try check for it. Okay, so it looks good. Let's submit, and okay, cool. 
Uh, so what is the complexity of this? Well, it's just going to be O of N, right? Because for each instruction in instructions, uh, we're only going to do it at most four times. Um, so it's going to be four times N or O of N. Uh, and this is O of 1. So that's a... Uh, pretty straightforward one, and it's also all of one space because at most we're going to add four things to scene or five, I guess, actually, so, but still all of one space. So, yeah, so this is all of one, all of n, uh, all of is linear time constant space for this algorithm. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for this problem. Um, yeah, I think if, if if it takes a little bit longer, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, there's a lot, what, what I'm doing, there's a lot of experience in playing around with grid problems and trying to figure out. Uh, similar things. So if you have played around with similar problems, it will make the problem easier. Uh, but otherwise, you know, it is a little bit interesting to get into. Uh, let's take a quick look at the hints. Calculate the final vector. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the th if it changes direction or if it moves zero. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I think this is another way of expressing it. Actually, I was thinking about a variation of this. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and join me on Discord. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.